I'm Catherine Neumann and I'm one of the Further Maths teachers at Rygate College. If you haven't seen it already, I'd recommend you watch the course video for A-Level Maths before watching this one. What's the difference between Maths and Further Maths A-Levels? People often ask me what the difference is between Maths and Further Maths A-Levels and whether it's beneficial to do both. Maths and Further Maths are two separate A-Levels and you can't do Further Maths without doing Maths. So if you choose Further Maths, you'll also be signing up to Maths A-Level as well. When you make your application to the college, you only need to enter Further Maths as one of your course options, as Maths will then automatically be added as well. Doing Further Maths not only allows you to explore pure mathematics in a much more abstract way, the course also goes into more ways that Maths can be applied to real-life situations. Topics such as differential equations, for example, are very relevant in the current times, as they can be used to model the spread of diseases. A Maclaurin series, another subject we study, is also used in financial modelling. The additional applied units also have links with physics and engineering, as well as computer science and economics. Another benefit of taking further maths is you'll be in the same class as other further maths students, so the class sizes tend to be a little bit smaller than if you just take maths. What are the entry requirements for further maths? To study further maths at Rygate College, you need to achieve at least a grade seven in your maths GCSE. And we may also look at your other GCSE grades to make sure you can manage the increased workload that comes with undertaking this course. An unofficial entry is that you also really like maths, and that's because doing further maths will take up half of your timetable lessons, so you need to really enjoy the subject. What are good subjects to combine with further maths? Doing maths and further maths at A-levels is a much more focus option than taking just maths A-level as you'll essentially be doing twice as much maths, since maths and further maths each count as one A-level and therefore each have four hours of lesson time allocated to them. The vast majority of our further maths students study further maths and maths together with two other A-levels, but there's no reason why you couldn't combine further maths with BTEC subjects as well. It's generally not advised to take maths, further maths and just one other subject, since at A-level we recommend you have more breadth in your study programme. While you can study maths and further maths with any combination of subjects, the majority of students take at least one subject that has an overlap of course content, such as physics, computer science, chemistry or economics. Some students combine maths and further maths with art subjects, languages and history. The choice is yours. What can further maths lead to? Taking further maths generally tells us that you're looking to go into a STEM field, that's science, technology, engineering or maths. But this is obviously not necessarily the case. You might just really like studying maths. The majority of our further maths students tend to pursue STEM courses or economics at university but others also go on to study non-science subjects. If you're planning on doing a maths degree or a maths-related apprenticeship after college, doing further maths is definitely recommended. We're extremely proud of the results we achieve in the maths department at Rygate College. Many of our further maths students go on to gain places at the country's most prestigious Russell Group universities, including Oxford and Cambridge.